and welcome back everybody to Let's Play Space Empire 5 and if you've been watching it so far good on you because right now <clears throat> how can I put this I have been very 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 extremely extraordinarily silly and something just clicked oh my oh, I guess I forgot about that little thing <clears throat> keep zooming out if you have fraps in the background um so I have been very wisely told that uh, anything with the symbol of colonization, you can colonize. So, I can colonize these planets. I just have to have a domed environment. So, when I actually found out about this, when I remember going here, it's like, the, oxygen, the atmosphere is oxygen, but it's still in a domed colony. <coughs> so, apparently, I can actually settle, like, these little planets pya 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 everywhere essentially um so that's what i'm gonna do because the mcnugget fleet is um well they're out for repairs at the moment and they are resupplying they've used up a whole bunch of their supplies actually i need to get a big ass supply ship to them pretty quickly what is this this is the oh this is the rico the new scout ship we made. And I believe this is... Ah, oh yeah, these are the ships heading down and our research is allocated to something or other. Ah, yes, our research is applied to being researching. Excellent. So I'm just going to end the turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm um, going to run a little experiment real quick in my uh, central sectors to see if I can colonize those planets. Because apparently I can. I also read up on how to use those robo robotic miners, and that's apparently a very uh, interesting solution as well. So you can use them for things like getting more minerals. And you just stick them on an asteroid belt or a planet that you're not, you don't own or you don't want to own, and they gather resources for you. And you can stack them. You can only have one ship mining, but you can have multiple units mining at the same time. It's a little bit confusing. So yes, we're level 8. We are doing empire-wide majiggers. That's right, and... Oh, they've actually come back to settle us! Yay! That's the one I actually wanted, you bastards! It's alright. I can simply send this fleet. I guess I'll just send this fleet to go and... Oh no, it's the wrong one. Where did they go to then? Where is that? Oh, it's here! Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's fine then. Um, so let me quickly go to this place because we have a good test subject right there. Gas giant, methane, bloody up, blah 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 blah. Blah blah blah. So, um gas colony. There we go. Perfect. In the meantime, I wanted to check up on our forward fleet to see if you can yet now move. Yes, you can. Because with them being able to move, I can now take these two planets. And the struggle for my ultimate supremacy continues. Uh, it's one destroyer and they are ion engines level 5, self-destruct. I oh, they've got level 7 blasters, which is actually fairly high. Do they have anything in the uh, lower or middle decks? Armors. So it's got about 4 blasters, no shields. Oh, interesting. Start going back. And... It dies... Oh, wow, it actually lasts a little bit against all those fighters. I think those fighters are actually running through a lot of supply really quickly. But it's alright, because we have the McNugget. That's right. Does the. I need to remind, remind myself of the McNugget's design. McNugget. There we go. Does it have a repair bay? It does not. That's why I have repair cruisers. Uh, let's see now. Oh, it does have a boatload of quantum torpedoes. This thing can just take on pretty much anything head on. 
and a boatload of armor. Alright, so that's fine. What I did want to do is go to Xiao. You explore unpronounceable. Well, you can. See, they're not doing this we want to explore thing anymore. They're being very rude. Uh, I will just have you go here then. And I wonder if there's a way I can turn this movement speed up in the option. Hold on, guys, let me check this out real quick. Uh, music volume, system icon move speed. I'm going to say that one. Close. Yes, that is the one. Okay, so the icons move faster now. I'm not going to put an ultra because that would be silly. Uh, next one. Rico, do you know you're going to be just as niffed as everyone else, apparently? Uh, let's have you. This is a black hole, so you can't explore that. You can't explore this, however. And, oh yeah, moving like that is so uh, much better for me. Frontline Destroyer. Oh, that's right, because I actually had these guys change their combat orders. My bad. So I need to re sign that. Good. And now another Frontline Destroyer, which is... Oh yeah, that's this fleet. Why well, don't I actually have this fleet stay back, because... Actually, I'm going to have the warp across, I believe, just to check out the other side. Does this system have... This system has two entrances. Interesting. So I do need to... Well, if I can just push through to here and then take this, I only need to hold these two to hold this entire quadrant. So let's leave those guys there for the moment. But they are running so low on supplies and they're repairing themselves. The ordinance is doing good though. But they're only down to a third of their supplies. Where's my research count at? 58? Good. I want to get this to level 10, I guess. Then I'm going to upgrade everything. Uh, but now... This guy should be finished, yes? Or is that next turn? Apparently next turn. Nice. Uh, these guys are still heading out. What are you? You are a... you're the recon guy, so... Light carrier, that's it for this guy? Yeah, no, so that's... That's it. And it'll cut down the in-between movement time of the enemy as well, which I don't actually need to see that often, because it's very much... I can see what they're doing in general, but not always. So anyway. Yay, they're moving at like hyper speed now, it's incredible. Oh, wow. Well, look at these recon guys. Even just flying through a system basically reveals it. Oh, and guess what we found? Someone's trying to come through that hole. Okay, good. Now, we did not discover that, but that's alright. Uh, this would have been f not finished by now, that's true. Uh, did we have a... Now, hold on. Cargo transport. Fleet runner. Level 6 cargo bays. Three hundred thousand tons. So you need three of those to make a thousand. So this can... Carry 8,000 supply. It's not bad, I guess. Does it have quantum engines? Yeah. It does have a repair bay. Level 2. Term which I don't really need, but... Hmm. Yeah, fleet logistics are coming into problems now. I think I will build one though. Is my. Hold on. 
is that the... Upgrade. Yeah, cargo bay level 6 is the biggest we have. So hold on. Ordinance and supply. I want to see... Provide 750 units of supply. Yeah, I'm just going to make one and send it out. In fact, I'm going to make... Two. It's going to take a while, but... They will be my supply ships. Do I have anything else? Okay, we will cancel. You... Oh, you know what? As a fleet, why don't you go ahead and stay with the... Well, actually... I kind of want you to go back. Nah, you can uh, stay there. On a side note, I need this guy to make me two colonies. One gas, one ice. Oh, he's making a fleet runner as well. Okay, that's good. So we'll just get the... Um, Gas and ice. Good. Not sure. On there, making the gas. On the other guy, you make the ice. Good. Now this. Oh, strategic. Ah, yes. This would be the McNugget fleet and start combat. What is coming through? Oh, it's the destroyer of buggery because it can't do anything. Yeah, as soon as our fighters are launched, it's just, it's just game over, man. Game over, man. Yeah. Now, this is one of our older fleets, but it does have a light carrier. Pause. Oh shoot, I wanted to see what that was. Oh. Continue. I think it was just a uh, smaller. Because I believe those were destroyers. Um. Yes. Here we go. So those guys are in. Oh, the recon guys are now. Is this? Oh, nice. A nice little field, yeah. Our ships have taken damage while moving through a warp. Okay, so this is one of their systems. Strategic. Yes, yeah, so we can just simply outrun them. This is why, by the way, you absolutely, positively need uh, fighters. Now, here's the test subject. Colonize this. Looks like it's working. Um, medium, you're going to be a research compound. A test colony, if you will. Yep, domed. Perfect. Wait, I see. It's medium. Oh, this is tiny. Small. Okay, small has 10,000, tiny has 5,000, so this would normally have a lot more sl uh, facility slots, but it doesn't. Okay. So I can actually settle them, but the extreme pen there's a huge penalty for the amount of slots that are available. I see. Interesting, interesting. Okay, well I'm gonna make something of it. I mean I'm not gonna just have it sit there. Um Research stations. Ah. Can't think of anything else to do. 
So that means I can do it, and I want to see what 